name is Crystal Petrie and you are watching the Crystal Petrie Consulting Network. I am continuing my fabulous review on Colin in Black and White, a series on Netflix created by Colin Kaepernick, NFL quarterback, and Ava DuVernay, director extraordinaire. Now, if I had to pick out of all of the episodes, I would say episode five is my favorite. And you wanna know why? Because the name of this episode is Crystal. So clearly they named this episode after your girl. In this episode, Colin is shown falling in love with a beautiful, smart, charismatic black girl named Crystal. Again, talking about your girl. <laughs> but of course, the people around Colin does not want him to date the beautiful black girl named Crystal. They want him to date the white girl that he goes to school with. His mother wants him to date the white girl. Even his friend Eddie, this is Eddie, wants him to date the white girl. But Colin is in love with Crystal. He sees nothing but beauty. He sees nothing but intelligence every single time he looks at her. Eventually, Crystal and Colin go to homecoming together. I remember homecoming dances. Do you remember them? Those were some good times, some good times. But anyway, I digress. So. Colin and Crystal go to homecoming together. It's a glorious night. Beautiful pictures, dancing, eating, having fun, all of the things. And they take a beautiful picture. Colin brings the picture home to his mom and dad who are white. And again, Colin is biracial, but he was adopted by white parents. His mom looks at the picture and then hides the picture in a cabinet so that no one can see the picture. Now, during this episode five, some stuff happens between Colin and Crystal. You'll have to watch it to find out exactly what. Anyways, they end up breaking up, which I was so sad about. And towards the end of the episode, Colin ends up going to the winter formal with the white girl. In this episode five, Colin talks about, now this is older Colin, he talks about an experiment that was done, I think in like the 70s or the 80s. It's called the Doll Experience, D-O-L-L -L Experience, no, Experiment, the Doll Experiment. Um, and look it up, Google it, YouTube it, you'll see what the experiment is. It's a horrible experiment and it yielded even more horrible results. But once you look that up, you will see why Colin's black friend, Eddie, and Colin's white adoptive mother chose for him to date the white girl instead of the black girl, Crystal. Even though that experiment was done in the 70s or the 80s, it's still going on to this day. The results, the feelings are still going on to this day. I don't want to get off on a tangent about that experiment. Again, go look it up and watch it or read it so you will understand what's truly, truly going on in episode five. Within episode five, towards the end, Colin's mother says, he's gonna forget about Crystal. I think this is just a phase that he's going through dating and liking black girls. That's what she says. But over 15 years later, we can tell by this episode that Colin has not forgotten about the beautiful black Crystal. I mean, can you blame him? <laughs> Can you blame him? So it wasn't a phase and he did not forget about Crystal. 
And to be honest, I'm sad that this is the last episode. I wanted to keep going on and on. The writing is on point. The music really helps progress the story. The hair, the lessons, the everything that they give us in this series, I just don't want it to end. But like they say, all great things must come to an end. So stay tuned for my final review of the final episode of Colin in Black and White.